have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood. From every tribe and tongue and people and nation, and have made us into a kingdom, priests for our God. <clears throat> Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, the blessed part of our sins, and the soul of the house was to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last in life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. <clears throat> Hear our prayers, O Lord. So that Lord was promised by the sanctifying power of your Lord. May everywhere be accomplished through the working of the gospel, and that all your adopted children might attain what the testimony of proof has foretold. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and is with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever, ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night, while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking, and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half and taught the word of God among them. When Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews rose up together against Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, This man is inducing people to worship God contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Gallio spoke to the Jews. If it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of you Jews. But since it is a question of arguments over doctrine and titles and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all seized Sosthenes, the synagogue official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal. But none of this was of concern to Gallio. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he sailed for Syria, together with Priscilla and Aquila. At Sencrae, he shaved his head, because he had taken a vow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is king of all the earth. God is king of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness, for the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God is kingdom of all the earth. He brings people under us, nations under our feet. He chooses for us our inheritance, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves. God is the King over all the earth. God mounts his throne and it shouts of joy. The Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is king of all the earth.
with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn when the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. For when a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy. That a child has been born into the world. So you also are now in anguish. But I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice. And no one will take your joy away from you. On that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All the so quick, our gospel readings have been about Jesus preparing his disciples for both his passion and death. And the time when he will no longer be with them. This really not been easy days for them. In today's gospel, Jesus assures them that their grieving will only be temporary and that their weeping and mourning will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she, she is in anguish, Jesus says, but when the child is born, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy. In a similar way, the disciples may be in anguish as Jesus departs from them, but that grieving will end when they see him again. The joy of this reunion with Jesus will cause their hearts such rejoicing that no one will be able to take their joy away. This is the meaning of Easter joy for the first disciples and for us. As a church, we observe Holy Week and Easter every year, recalling Christ's life, death, resurrection, and ascension again and again. This is because the message of Easter is always relevant and meaningful in the Easter story is as in life, there is death and resurrection, there is anguish and joy. This is the joy is what gives meaning to loss and enables us to endure. Christ desires to fill us with joy. We open our hearts to his joy, not only during this Easter season, but every time we gather to hear his word and share in his Eucharist. Trusting the Lord knows our grief and anguish, we present our needs to him. That the Lord may heal the wounds of his church and bring justice and healing to her remember to her members. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the peace of Christ may overpower overpower nation, nations in conflict. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That God may relieve the suffering of all who struggle with disease or ill health. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may bring consolation to those in our community who are mourning the loss of loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those who have died, especially 
We pray for Joseph Valerano, Donald Parrish. May experience eternal life with Christ in the glory of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. God of wonder and might, we bring these prayers before you. Hear and answer them. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through our goodness we have received the bread we offer you of the earth and the world of human hands may we come for the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through our goodness we have received. Thou art the offering of the light and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. For your brothers and sisters of some sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands through the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all God's holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they were never lost what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our good and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For him, the children of light who rise to eternal life, and the hosts of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with best control, every land, every people, and his hosts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim you. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are in it, holy O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts to be prayed, by sending now your spirit upon them like the before, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and when truly given the special, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith, we proclaim for Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How you pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember that your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Christ our Pope and Nelson, our Bishop and our Catholic. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the service coming in the form of my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, the three apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look down our sins, but on the head of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, in the name forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Because the Lamb of God, because who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the Sabbath of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. was handed over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Keep saving all of your prayer. Those whom you have saved by your kindness, they are redeemed by the passion of your Son, that they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My mighty God, my Zero, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. God.